Welcome back to Uncle Mark's Outpost. It is now October 2nd, 3rd, October 3rd. We got a lot of new faces at the outpost that we'll introduce you to. We are now at the stage to start insulating. Then people can pretty much start sleeping in the cabin. Right now, oh, we've been using the Friendship mostly and it's been good, but we've got a lot of people in camp this week. Uh, we've got the boys from North Ridge Interiors from Steinbach, Grunthal area, Manitoba. We've had a good amount of uh, Southern Manitoban connections coming here, so it's, it's great. And we have two guys that are living here until freeze up. They signed up and they said, we're gonna, we're gonna stay as long as we can, so I'll introduce you to those boys as well. But uh, right now, I think they're just finishing unloading. I'm here talking to myself, being very useful. As always, today's gonna be a big day on the build. So we, we still are in the, in the market for some new docks, um, but just like I've mentioned before, we don't have unlimited budget on this project. So we bought some cheap ones off the Kenora buy and sell. We got these three sections for like 700 bucks, um, but they're not, they're not mounted properly. So they're kind of just floating around. Um, the nice thing is, is it never really gets windy in this bay. It could be screaming winds around the corner and it's like, it's fine here. So uh, anyways, let's go see, let's go see what we all missed and uh, get some introductions going. We're starting, we're starting with the, uh, the resident workers here that have been living. How long have you guys been here? Uh, last Wednesday. Last so. Wednesday. What's your name? I'm um, Bodhi. Bodhi, where's home for you? Uh, Nipoa. And did you know what you're signing up for? A uh, little bit. Just wanted to live on an island? Yeah, it's awesome so what, far. What have you guys been up to? Uh, siding, fishing in the evenings. Nice. Hey, how's it going? I'm Noah. I'm from Brandon. It's probably a little better than I thought it was going to be out here. Really? Yeah. Nice. That's, that's living, good. Living the dream. Well, Can't complain. They, they said they're gonna stay here till freeze. So you guys were uh, firefighters, yeah. forest firefighters. I kind of had a hunch that they were probably hard workers. The fact that they're forest firefighters, um, but they, yeah, their season just finished up north, and they messaged me and said, "Hey, we want to come live on the island." So here they are, sticking it out. They're living on the friendship, and then we got the insulating crew. They do all sorts of stuff: drywall, insulating. Is is there more on the list? Uh, whatever whatever your interior needs are. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. anything. Northridge Interiors. Yes, sir. How long has your company been around? About four or five months. New, fresh? Fresh. But you do stuff, sign back area, but also travel to Northwest Ontario if needed, or? Yes, sir. Nice, for your name, what's your name? Cruz Novak, Cruz Steinback. There you go. <laughs> the other, the rest of the crew. Hi there, I'm one of the owners. My name's Brady. I'm from Marshan, just outside Steinback. Nice. We're here to tackle this for Jay and see how it goes. Last but not least. I'm Braden, the other co-owner, uh, living just outside of Steinbeck. And yeah, I figured it was a cool opportunity to jump on this and see what happens. Well, I appreciate it. Hey, yeah, Cruz won't be calling the shots. No. They'll be telling them. Just, just to make that clear, I kind of put you on the spot there. Today, my plan is to learn the art of insulating. So I'm actually gonna put the camera on a tripod and, and do a little bit of work. We'll teach you something. They'll, they'll <laughs> teach me something, yeah. Do I need gloves? Am I gonna get dirty? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, cool. Uncle Mark is on his way. I think Scott's showing up later. I don't know if Spencer's showing up today, but anyways, we got a lot of hands on deck and we, uh, yeah, we're not uh, insulating the bottom, we're insulating the walls and the loft. So we're probably gonna start at the loft. That's where these guys are gonna be sleeping the next couple days and then kind of work our way down. This looks good. So this is what the exterior is gonna look like. That's the board and batten. They got it done up there. You guys brought a tool belt for me, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> no? You can have three. Brought an extra hammer tacker for you. Hey, why? Like, I didn't even say anything. Cruz is getting all the abuse. <laughs> just because he's the face of the company now. Yeah. Does Cruz come on every job site? Up, so if I hire right. you guys, will I get Cruz? Yeah. Pardon? <laughs> I mentioned to the guys on the way down here that if things went okay, maybe I could take him fishing this evening. And now they're done like half the loft already. Look at this. This is impressive. So this is the R28 stuff you're putting up here? Yep. Is it based on thickness or based on insulation value, right? Yeah, insulation value, yeah. Like there's poly sheets that go over all this yet, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just to hold it in for now, otherwise. Gotcha, yeah, yeah. Are the bosses treating you nice today? Uh, yes. So far, so good? Yes. What are you doing here? Just caulking the cripples and stuff to stop the airflow coming through before we poly. Nice. Look at that finesse.
Well, the Northridge boys are crushing it. I'm gonna go fire up the barbecue and do what I do best. I don't know if best, but the only thing I can do without hurting myself is barbecuing. So I'm gonna go cook some food for the guys and we'll see what Noah and Bodie are up to. We ran the ethernet cord up to the peak. I know we talked about this earlier and we just set up the first security camera just as a test and I'll insert the picture, but that's gonna be our lake view. The Haber Vision 5000, we'll call it. Uh, it'll be cool because then, I mean, that that won't be like the most important angle for security. It'll be more so just for curiosity to show, um, you know, if there's boats coming in, if the lake's frozen, if it's windy. It's obviously tough to tell in this bay, but uh, Real Link is the security camera brand. Yeah, I would highly recommend checking them out. This is my first time using it. I just set it up. We're going to have four cameras yet. I'm going to, I'll show you more about it, but Real Link, the system they recommended for this cabin. So anyways, time to get my dad on and do some barbecue. But first, let's see what these boys are up to. How's it going? Putting some siding on. Nice. So you're going to do this side now? That's the plan? Yeah, fine. So everyone wants to know, what's the story? Well, you can make up any story you want. Got in a fight with a bear. <laughs> the bear lost? Yeah, you should see him. <laughs> cool. Do you, do you have some building experience? Or have you been learning from Uncle Mark? Just kind of grew up. Doing a bit of it? Around with my parent, with my dad and stuff. And, nice. Yeah. And staining these are a lot of work, eh? Oh, yeah. My parents, my parents have been staining all the thin boards, but these guys have been staining the thick boards. And it's like 15 boards goes through a gallon of stain. So it's uh, it's kind of pricey, but you know, it's gonna look great. It looks great on the ends. So the style of exterior we're going with, is called board and batten. And uh, that was thanks to Frank. You remember Frank from like the first, or, it was probably second or third video. Frank came and helped build the foundation and he does exterior work, but he recommended the board and batten deal. So that's, we're doing this because of Frank. It's a little more labor, but it, it's looking, it's looking good. Barbecuing with Jay, that's all I'm good for. Come film a little bit, barbecue a bit. I mean, with the insulators out, just getting in the way. I think with Bodie and Noah, I'd actually be able to help, but. All right, we ate some burgers. The crew's back at it. Noah and Bodie are going to Probably crush the wall this afternoon. I think they're gonna get a lot of it done. Back to the inside. The insulating program. Northridge boys would make a good uh, boy band name. I don't know if you ever thought about that. Like Backstreet Boys, but made a good dent in it already. Crush it. Well, now the guys can inflate the rest here, and the next time those boards come down, they'll be stained, hopefully. A lot of moving back and forth, but that's kind of just how it is. Keep it dry. <laughs> All right, well, after three months of the project, they finally allowed me to use power tools, so I'm gonna make a shelf. That's This will probably be the only thing I'll actually build on this cabin. It may turn out to be a disaster, but I'm, I'm ready for, for the task. Not quite, not quite all the way through. So you got my two by four, got my piece of plywood. I'm gonna build a shelf. It's gonna house the real link security camera and the Starlink. You getting the angles? I think so. <laughs> That's got some power. All right, welcome to painting with Jay. I like to paint with the grain. All right, now we're gonna watch it dry. Just kidding, I'm gonna go clean up inside. My shelf is dried. I'd level the bottom. Oh, good idea. Two by four. Mark's so smart. Yeah, it's okay. We're gonna put this up here. We still need to get all of our Cat5 cables. Let's see if it holds it. It works. And then the start link will go in there too. How proud are you, Mark? I'm very proud, Jay. We'll clean up the cords yet, but there we go. Star link and real link, a lot of links. Well, today's been another massively productive day. I built a shelf. The other guys insulate an entire cabin. This guys did some siding. 
but they're just finishing the ground floor now and I think they'll have no problem finishing this together tomorrow. Sorry, tomorrow, not together. And I wanna show you guys the mechanical room because we haven't, there'll be a couple of videos I'm gonna splice in here of the progress of it, but here's the non-cell phone video version of the mechanical room. And this is like the, the nerdy coming out in me, but there's, there's a lot of cool stuff in here and I'm still learning how it all works, but we've got this very industrial steel do door here. We'll probably paint it at some point. If you guys have any color suggestions, let me know. This is the, the magic room. We've got the water system provided by the Water East Door. We're gonna talk about that as a standalone video. We've got my shelf up top there, Starlink, Real Link camera. Got the propane heater, got the plumbing for the water, on-demand water, the inverter, but look at this. These batteries had been sitting and waiting for a couple months and now they're all rigged. So basically this is a 48 volt system. The black from one end of the system goes into the inverter and the red of the other end of the system goes into the inverter and the rest of these are all ran in parallel. This is the charger here. These are the two charger modules, inverter. And then up here, you can tell a little bit of what's going on and I'm still learning how this all works, but we can charge us off a generator or we can charge us off the panels, which is what it's gonna be charging off of most of the time. But obviously we don't have the panels up yet. We are waiting for our friend from SolarPod. Jason is plant hopefully gonna come up this fall yet. Um, we need some good weather and we need, he's just a busy dude. So hopefully he can make it up. Uh, I think this is definitely a very robust system and the lithium is, is just, you know, this footprint is so small. This, these are, you know, 48 volt batteries. To get a system like that with lead acid, you would be dealing with a lot of big, heavy batteries. Now we have all these batteries in the corner here. Anyways, I'm taking the guys fishing. It's the least I can do. Northridge interiors crushing it as well. Noah and Bodie, they're, they're sticking it out till the end, I think. So huge win getting those guys on board. And uh, hopefully we can put them on some fish so they can eat some walleyes tonight. Well, we were rated for seven people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And a half. You're a half? You're one and a half. <laughs> All the boys crushed it. Hopefully they can crush the walleyes the way they crushed the work today. Got there, Mark. I have a fish. <laughs> you guys both got just peanuts. Nice. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, what do we got, Bodie? Molly on the board. Beautiful, nice. Bodie's on fire. Another smallie, musky. Oh yeah, there we go. Thank you sir, I'll take that. There she goes. All right, we got a good one, we're putting it back. We got, maybe we'll eat that little guy, probably not, but we're catching a couple. All right, that's a wrap. Thanks to all these amazing people for working on the cabin. I will link them below, their businesses, Instagrams, all that good stuff. Mark, do you have social media, Mark? I don't know. Mark's working on his social media game. I think he needs to change his handle from, what is it, Haber2245. It needs to be just Uncle Mark, <laughs> if you can get that, 2275. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And um, that's, just my pin. that's Mark's pin for everything, for his credit card. <laughs> now we know what the number's for. <laughs>